In an experiment, college students were given either four quarters or a dollar, and they could either keep the money or spend it on gum. So we have the results here in this table. For example, here it says students given four quarters, and so 29 of them purchased gum, and then 18 of them kept the money. Whereas here we have students given a $1 bill, 16 of them purchased gum, and then 34 of them kept the money. The question says, find the probability of randomly selecting a student who spent the money given that the student was given four quarters. Okay, so the key word here is given. This is conditional probability, right? Given is conditional. So you write the P, parentheses, and then just go in order. Student who spent the money, so spent money, so spent money. That's the same thing as purchased gum, right? Purchased, I'll just put perch gum. Then it says given that, so you write the line. So purchased gum or spent money, same thing. Given that was given four quarters, so four quarters. So this is a conditional probability. So we have some, some previous knowledge. We know that the student uh, spent f was, uh, was given four quarters. So you want to focus only on the people that were given four quarters. So that's what's going to go on the bottom, right? So this goes on the bottom. So it reduces the total number of possibilities. Instead of adding them all up and getting the total, you just focus on these four quarters, OK? So 29 plus 18. Let's work that out. That's going to be uh, 47. And then from these people, just from these, this top row, you want the ones that um, spent the money or purchased gum. So 29. So 29 out of 47. Let's put that in the calculator. So 29 out of 47. Uh, 0.617. Let's type it in. 0.617. Good stuff. So the answer to this one is 0.617. Let's do the next part. Find the probability of selecting a student who kept the money given that the student was given four quarters. Okay, let's write it down. So P, so kept the money, so kept. And then it says given that, so you write the line. Always go in order, right? It's the best way to do it. And then given four quarters, so four quarters. So just like before, right, we focus on what's after the given. So what's after the given is what goes on the bottom, right? So four quarters, we're only focusing on that top row. So 29 plus 18 is 47. And from these, we only want the ones that kept the money. So just from these, it would be 18, right? You don't add up the 18 and 34. That would be super wrong, right? Because it's only from the ones that were given the four quarters. So 18, so 18 over 47, so 18 over 47, boom, there it is, 0 0.383, 0 0.383, 0 0.383. It says, what do the preceding results uh, suggest? Well, before we read the choices, because there's four choices and three of them are wrong, um, let's try to uh, analyze this ourselves. So in both cases, the students were given four quarters. So if a student is given four quarters, there is a better chance that they spend the money, right? Because look, uh, 0.1, 0 0.617 probability that they spent the money, 0.383 that they kept it. So if you give a student four quarters, there is a higher probability that they will spend the money rather than keep it. So part A, a student given four quarters is more likely to have spent the money. Yep, I'm not even going to read the other choices. Just going to be brave and go with it. Yep, and that's right. Uh, I hope that made sense.